We're checking out why American and European trucks are so different. This is yeah. valid. I need to so know. So you, you're not a tractor trailer truck driver. No. You got no. a big pickup truck, but I used to drive school buses. So those are my R reference points for this one. Let's dive in because it's just, it's interesting to see the differences. Because that's yeah. one of those things that you may not think about but you immediately notice when you travel across the pond or abroad anywhere, you're like, I've never seen that kind of car before. I've never seen that kind of truck before. I never like, why? Why don't we have that in the States? Stuff like that. So it'd be interesting to see why, why they're different. Yeah, only one way to find out. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Why European and American trucks are so different. American and European semi-trucks are very different. In America, you see all the trucks with a long nose and wheelbase with the cabin behind the engine, whereas trucks in Europe are cab-over trucks where the cabin is above the engine. Hmm. Hmm. But why are they so different and what are the advantages and disadvantages? Let's take a look at it. Livable one of the reasons why the American trucks have bigger cabs is that owner-operators are very common in the U.S. and not so much in Europe. These people own their trucks and pretty much live in them for months at a time. Because they spend so much time, and some have to live in the cabin, these cabins are quite a bit larger and have more features in the cabin. Holy shit! Such as a fridge, microwave, yeah i've never I, seen inside i just this video is making me realize i've never seen the inside of an 18 wheeler really wow yeah yeah i mean look my mom was a tractor trailer uh truck driver for so many years and wow she she basically lived on the road and yeah. she had one of these for quite some time i mean she's not an owner operator but she you know had a truck had somewhere to live in had our tv refrigerator microwave wow. all those things it's basically a, a motel Apartment. on wheels yeah, yeah. That, that's crazy though and you know you know what he just he just hit the nail on the head in that brief second we're not even what a minute in he already that's hit it in. he already answered my it made all the sense in the world we have a bigger country right <laughs> our roads are a lot longer yeah the livable ones are the only option yeah like yeah that's just how it is unless you work as a day trucker like just for yeah. local businesses and have a a signed route which is what my mom has now so like a it, ups different. driver kind of thing right yeah ups or just one of those smaller trucks that doesn't have a bed in it I mean, it, it. they just deliver locally freezer wardrobe large bed windows and some even have their own toilet owners modify their trucks to include huge living compartments something not so common in europe it is of course also possible to spend several days in a truck with a cab over but the comfort is just not nearly as high long wide roads much of an american truck's life is spent on the interstate system where the lanes are wide and the roads are straight for that reason the long wheelbase of the truck is acceptable and typically makes the ride much more comfortable considering they are allowed to drive up to 12 hours every 24 hours whereas european truckers can only drive nine hours that extra comfort is important European semi-trucks are lighter and have shorter wheelbases, which makes them significantly easier to maneuver. Essentially, they are more compact and easier to work with in traffic and urban environments, which is perfect for the narrow roads in Europe. Also, the cab over has a better overview and less blind spots, which increase safety noticeably, where the larger bonnets and A-pillars on the American trucks make it difficult for drivers to get a clear view of traffic. Yeah, that is something I will say, like, uh, obviously it's not trucks, but with school buses, um, the flat nose buses were definitely a lot easier to turn. Uh, they had better, what's, uh, what's the right term, turning radius than yeah. uh, the ones with a, uh, reg a standard nose, a regular out nose. That's a term yeah. for it. I can't remember what it is, but yeah, I... I Imagine that those uh, European style trucks are easier to turn, easier to maneuver than their American counterparts. Yeah. I mean, that just makes sense, though. That just, it, like, whatever he's saying makes sense. You know, yeah. like thinner trucks, smaller trucks, 
uh, more urban environment. Like, yeah, you don't want this big Optimus Prime looking truck in a, yeah. in a road that's not built for it. Right, right. You know? And, and yeah, and that whole part about only being able to drive nine hours in Europe versus 12 in America, I could confirm that is 100% true. Yep. Um, my, and my mom has time logs to wow. let you know what hours she was working, but a lot of them are automatic now and, and digital. So you don't have oh, to worry wow. about filling out paperwork. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. but I mean, my God, nine hours out there on the UK, you could get from, wow, that's just round trip everywhere. You could go back and forth how many times? Yeah, any you know? European country. Uh, I think when I just Google Maps did, like the entire UK uh, island from the tippity top to the bottom, I feel like the longest route was like 14, 15 hours. So it's doable so, in two days. Yeah. Strict regulations. Stricter regulations in Europe make for different trucks. For starters, a European semi-truck can only be 18.75 meters or about 61 feet. Some countries have some exceptions, but generally that is the rule. Because of these restrictions, European trucks have to be as short as possible so they can tow more cargo. Considering American cabs can be 20 feet long, that only leaves 40 feet of room for cargo. So, in order to make more room for cargo, the cab has to be as short as possible. Similar requirements in the US have been revoked back in 1986, and trucks now can be much longer. Actually, back in the day, cab over trucks were quite popular in the US, but without strict limitations, roomier and more convenient to live with conventional design trucks prevailed. Hmm. Speed and aerodynamics. A big difference between the European semi-trucks and American ones is that in Europe, the speed is limited to 90 km per hour. But in some places in the US, trucks are allowed to reach 129 and even 137 km yeah. per hour. 100%. Yeah. Oh yeah. It is on the long straight roads. At high speed, the better aerodynamics and longer wheelbase is a clear advantage for the long-nosed trucks, which are created for the long trips. Conclusion. So, the reason why there is such a big difference between trucks in Europe compared to America is that they are used in different ways. There are different rules that must be observed, both in terms of speed, driving time, lengths, weight, etc. And that there is a big difference between roads and the infrastructure. So, one is not necessarily better than the other, but they are adapted to the needs of truck owners, the driver, and the government requirements. Which is your favorite? Thanks for watching. That's an interesting uh, conversation yeah. starter about um, it's something that we take for granted, truckers, but without truckers, our whole oh country would collapse, our whole uh, trade yeah. system would collapse. And, uh, and it's, I, it's I'm been close sure a couple trucker. times. It has been close a couple of times, especially during <laughs> because... COVID. I remember a couple in the in particular. Yep. So I'm not uh, going to mention them, but you know what I'm talking about. It's yeah. But my thing is, a truck from across the pond would yeah. be fine here. A truck oh, yeah. from here across the pond would not go well at all. Already oh, no. illegal. Oh, no. Already, that truck can't touch the roads there. Right. You know? Right. It can't. Um, it can't. And but it's also made for different ways. Like yeah. most of these European countries are hilly, windy roads, not completely straight like uh, the United States. Getting your kicks on Route 66, uh, yeah. I-40, I-95, insert number of interstates. Built yeah. for trucks. They were built for, for commerce, not just the civilians. It's interesting to see. I mean, it's, it's a good question that no one asked. It's just one of those random facts that we're presenting to everyone. Like, hey, guys, in case you didn't want to know, here it is. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's part of what our learning uh, type thing on yeah. this channel. Yeah. It's going to be but, lengthy. But I'm glad we, we have one less question in our bank now. Exactly. And whoever made this, yeah, two yeah. thumbs up to you. Yeah. I'm certain we have some truckers in our audience here. So if you are a truck driver, particularly in Europe or anywhere not the united yeah. states let us know your experience and like what you think of like american trucks when you do see them if you yeah. have ever thought about that because i mean you mu it must be so out of this world to see what we have here man like yeah, yeah, you must yeah. Be like what the hell 
but and aren't they called lorry drivers well at least in the uk they are i'm not the sure UK about the rest of europe well but... man no this was informative man to say the least so yeah. Yeah, we learned it something today. Yeah, we do. We learned it. There's someone around to subscribe. There's someone around to watch another video. Yep. Wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. Unplug and do something epic, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Later. Fellas, we could be that mistake. Let's do this.